Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, trying to set the record straight about climate. I posted a couple of videos earlier about a claimed record temperature in France. Since I put those videos out there, there's been a lot of discussion on the internet about which thermometer the record was actually recorded at. This is the claimed record, 45.9C. I've now heard four different theories about which thermometer that temperature was recorded at. This one on the rooftop seemed to be the right one. It has the same name as the record station, and it's the only station with that name on the infoclimate.fr website. Here's that website. It looks very official and showed very detailed temperatures every half hour from that station. The hottest temperature recorded yesterday on that hot tile roof was 44.1 C, which is 1.8 C less than the supposed record. But apparently there's another station a few blocks away which is not listed on the infoclimate.fr website. I haven't been able to find the temperature data for that station, but apparently that's the one where the 45.9C was recorded. That station is located just south of this large industrial complex and this large parking lot and just east of this residential area. So why would a thermometer here be 1.8C hotter than a rooftop a few blocks away? I can only speculate about that. It was a work day and it was very hot. They might have had the air conditioning blasting in this industrial facility and the hot air from the AC outlets might have come over towards the thermometer. It doesn't look like a great location for a thermometer, but I can only speculate on it. The fact that it was considerably hotter than a rooftop a few blocks away makes me very suspicious about the temperature. But regardless of the reason, I apologize for any confusion I created and I'll be more careful with my sources in the future. Would the 45.9C been an actual record for France? Probably not. Here's an article from 1930 discussing 122F or 50C in France. August 30, 1930, extraordinary heat in France. France, like England, is suffering from extraordinary heat. The shade temperature in Paris City was 100 degrees Fahrenheit, much hotter than this year, which is the greatest heat experienced in late August since 1870. Numbers of cases of collapse are reported from the lower region where a temperature of 122 degrees was registered. And here's another article from 1899 discussing great heat waves in Europe. One of them is that in 1773 the thermometer rose to 118 degrees in France. That's 48C, much hotter than this year's claimed record temperature. And here's another article from 1906 discussing the same 48C in France in 1773. Europe has had many terrible heat waves and droughts recorded over the last 1,500 years. In the year 627, thousands of people died of thirst in France and Germany. In the year 1000, the rivers of Europe dried up. In 1123, the Rhine River dried up. In 1260, more men died from heat than wounds at the Battle of Bella. In 1303 and 1304, the Rhine, the Loire, and the Seine rivers ran dry. That's pretty inconceivable now. In 1779, many persons in Bologna were stifled. Shops all over Europe were closed for months. In 1821, a plague of mice came with intolerable heat. More than 200,000 people died from the heat in France. Was yesterday's heat a record? I have no idea, but I doubt it. Europe has a long history of terrible heat waves and droughts when CO2 levels were at pre-industrial levels. The history shows us very clearly that you can't blame heat and drought in Europe on high CO2 levels. That's just junk science. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been trying to pull back the curtain on junk science and propaganda for a long time. But every once in a while he creates some propaganda of his own, like today.